The Pokemon world and the real world are similar in that they follow a few basic rules. Number one, you can't walk on water. And number two, you can't swim on land. But in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald versions, there are a few weird glitches that allow you to break the laws of reality. I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and today I'll be showing you two weird glitches that allow you to walk on water and surf on land in the third generation Pokemon games. Go ahead and gently tap that like button and you too could be a master at breaking the laws of reality. First, let's walk on water. This glitch will be able to do in any of Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald versions. To do this, we're going to need to have played any of these games up to the point where we've unlocked HM3 Surf from Petalburg City and HM8 Dive from Moss Deep City and also earned both the Balance Badge and the Mind Badge. From Moss Deep City, we're going to surf down to Route 128 and find a dark water spot. Here, we can use Dive to go underwater. Once we're underwater, we're gonna find this spot right here, the entrance to a place called the Seafloor Cavern. Now that we're here, we're gonna try doing something very specific and very weird. We're gonna move our character forward to the cave entrance tile. However, instead of entering the cave normally, we're gonna try to press B quickly so a text box appears before we could enter the cave and it's gonna ask us if we want to return to the surface of the water. This might take a few tries to do, since the game is trying to bring you to a different map and we're trying to stop that by loading up the text box here. But when we do it right, it'll look like this. And now, we're gonna select the option to return to the surface, and when we go back up, we're standing inside of a rock! Now, we end up inside of a rock because each tile underwater correlates to a tile above water. You're usually not supposed to be able to stand on that cave entrance and not supposed to be able to go above water there. And because of that, the developers didn't see any problem with putting a rock right there. But because they did put a rock there, that opened a whole bag full of craziness and possibilities here. Since the game reads that rock as a land tile and not a water tile, when you surface on the rock, it'll put you in the standing sprite instead of the usual surfing one. And if you take a step down, you'll notice now, you're walking on water. Let's play around with this a little bit. So obviously the first cool thing you could do with this glitch is walk on water, something you can never ever ever do in a Pokemon game, and of course you could still run into wild Pokemon while you do this as well. But if walking is too slow for you, don't worry, because you could still run on water as well, and if running is too slow for you, if you need to go even faster than that, then you could also use your bike on the ocean. And now this has got to be one of the weirdest things I have ever seen ever, riding your bike around on the ocean. I know it's going to be a feature in Pokemon Sword and Shield, but I guess Pokemon Emerald did it first, way back in the day. And unfortunately, it looks like you can't ride your bike up a waterfall, although you do get sent super far back, like three steps if you try going up the waterfall. That's kind of crazy. Now, don't get me wrong, using the mock bike and going super fast on water is very cool, but my favorite bike to use on water is the acro bike, because you could do all these interesting tricks with it. You could do bunny hops on the water, you could do jumps on the water, and wow, that was kind of cool actually, bunny hopping onto the waterfall, but that shoots you right back down. And of course, you could show off your skills and do some wheelies on the water. Now, something kind of weird is, even though I have all 8 badges and a Pokemon on my team knows the move Waterfall, the game will not let me go up this waterfall at all. Another thing you can't do while doing this glitch is actually get off your bike and go on land. For some reason, you just can't do that at all, which is kind of weird. But the thing I honestly find the most fun about doing this glitch is the Hoenn region has so much water, and because it has so much water, you could actually go extremely far with it. You saw I started off on Route 128, now I'm almost at Route 131, and I believe we could even go to some other towns too. Also, I can only imagine how crazy it must be for the trainers swimming around in the water seeing this kid riding his bike around in the ocean. See, here we are in another town, but no matter what I do, I can't walk on these little logs here. I'm stuck in the water. It's kind of like a little curse. 
And speaking of a little cursed, let me show you something crazy here. So this is the fast water current, and if you go on it, whoa! Here we are. Now, normally this wouldn't be a problem, you could just go on land and get off your bike, however, we're stuck here. Because this glitch will not let us go on land, and this water is not gonna let us go back this way. So if we don't have a way to get out of here, like teleporting or fly, we're just permanently stuck here if we save our game. Luckily for us though, we do have a Pokemon with Fly, and we can fly ourselves back to safety. And using Fly, entering a cave, or going back underwater will reset this glitch and make things go back to normal. But that's not all with dive glitches. In the Japanese Pokemon Emerald, there's a special glitch with dive that gets really weird. In the Team Aqua hideout, if you go all the way to the end after they launch their submarine, there's a spot that you could surf on. We're gonna surf on the water and go right on the dark spots, which are usually places where you can use dive. Well, here, the game doesn't actually let you use dive. That is, unless you save the game and reset. For some reason, saving the game and resetting right here will actually let you use dive in this spot, and if you do that, you pop up somewhere kind of weird. You won't be underwater, instead you'll be leaving a house in Petalburg City. I guess that means that Petalburg City is actually underwater. Now the actual reason you end up in Petalburg City is because the game developers never intended for you to actually use dive here. The game doesn't have anywhere it was told to put you. Since the developers never actually intended for anybody to use this dive spot, it'll put you in the default map. Map number zero, warp number zero, which just happens to be this random house in Petalburg City. Like I said before, this glitch only works in the Japanese Pokemon Emerald, and it was patched out in the English version. It also won't work in Ruby and Sapphire, because you don't have the move Dive when you first come to this area, and you can't revisit it after getting Dive. Now that's enough of walking on water. It's time for us to surf on land. Unfortunately, this glitch only works in the Japanese versions of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. It was patched out in all later releases. I don't know what it is with Japanese Pokemon games and their cool surf glitches, but I know I'm jealous. To do this glitch in the Japanese games, we're going to need to have at least our fifth badge so we can use the move Surf outside of battle. Then after that, we'll need to have the Acro Bike. From there, the glitch is pretty simple. On our Acro Bike, we're gonna go anywhere in the game that's two spots away from water. Then, we'll do a side hop that'll bring us closer to the water and mash A at the same time. If we do it fast enough, we'll see a message pop up that asks us if we want to surf. If we select yes, the game is gonna have us surf on land. Just like with the dive glitch before, this requires some pretty strict timing so it can be hard to pull off. Since you could do this glitch next to basically any body of water in the game, the possibilities of surfing on land are endless. However, there's one area in particular that I really want to show you because it gets kind of weird. Okay, we're here on Route 119 and I want to show you how crazy we can get with this surf glitch. So first, let's pull off the normal surf glitch. There we go, three tries, not bad at all, and we got the surf glitch. So now we're surfing on land, which is weird enough, but we're about to make this get even weirder. So let's go through the grass over here and go to this patch where we could plant some berries. Now for this next step, we could plant any berry we want, it doesn't matter, and what we're going to go ahead and do is water this berry right now. And now if you look really closely at my surfing sprite, you'll actually see there's two surfing sprites underneath my character. So what we're going to do from here is go to a spot where we can hop off. Now for some reason when we do the surf glitch, if I just walk right here, it'll let me dismount and boom. Now technically I'm walking around, but it still has a surfing sprite underneath me. So now I could walk, I could run, and it'll have this thing following me wherever I go. And from there, we could do more of the weirdness, so I could go in my bag and go on my bike. Actually, scratch that. Going into the bag made my thing disappear. So we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna go dismount over here, and now I'm gonna activate my bike. 
And here we go. This is the crazy part. I'm riding around my bike with the surf sprite. It looks so weird because I'm like bobbing up and down, but I also have my bike going. Can I do hops over? Oh, wow. That looks really bizarre. That looks very, very strange. The glitch will also work and do the same thing if you hop off the bridge over here, which probably hurts a lot if you think about it. And you could run around with this little surf sprite anywhere you want, as long as you don't change the screen. If you go into a wild Pokemon battle like this one, unfortunately the glitch will go away. See, it's like I did all that work for nothing. Thanks, wild Zigzagoon. But let's say you're smart and you use a repel so you don't get any wild Pokemon encounters, you can actually take this pretty far all the way into like the next town and it'll look equally as crazy in Fortree City. Look at me going up this ladder or walking on the bridge over here, it just looks so weird while my character kind of levitates off the grounds like this. This is a super fun glitch to pull off and I'm kind of upset it got caught really early on because it would be so nice if the English release of the games had this too. And with that, my friends, you now know all about walking on water and surfing on land in these Pokemon games. In the comments below, tell me, would you rather be able to walk on water or would you rather swim on land? And if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a nice thumbs up. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and also check the description because I have a nice playlist full of them. Thanks again, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.